Nos encontramos en estos momentos con el presidente de la Conferencia General de la Iglesia Adventista del Séptimo Día, Ted Wilson. Muchas gracias por concedernos esta entrevista. It's a privilege to be with you. Thank you. Okay. El año que viene es el centenario de la muerte de Elena G. de White. ¿Cuál ha sido, cuál es y cuál eh, debería ser su papel en la Iglesia Adventista del Séptimo Día? The Bible itself, the Word of God, is the foundation of the beliefs of Seventh-day Adventists. In the scriptures, we're told that in the very last days, in Revelation 12, 17, it says that there will be a people who love and keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus and the testimony of Jesus. And in Revelation 19:10, we are told that this faith or this testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In the last days, there would be a people who would have this very special uh, gift from God. And we believe that uh, God used Ellen White in this manner to provide encouragement, to provide guidance for the early church as it began uh, as the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Ellen White was one of the founders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and she was a messenger from God. She will be uh, dead for 100 years in 2015. Mm -hmm. We're not going to make a big commemoration of this except to understand how God has led us in the past and how he will lead us into the future. In my opinion, uh, the spirit of prophecy is one of God's greatest gifts to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The spirit of prophecy points us to Christ and the Bible. So no one should ever feel that it is taking the place of the Bible, it is lifting up the Bible. And in my opinion, the counsel and the instruction in the spirit of prophecy is just as valid and valuable today as it was 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I know God will continue to bless our church members as they read, as they learn, And as they use this wonderful gift. Mm -hmm. ¿En qué momento profético histórico nos encontramos, en su opinión? ¿Y qué papel como remanente cree que le toca desempeñar a la Iglesia Adventista en favor de la humanidad? Well, this is a prophetic people with a prophetic message on a prophetic mission. We understand from Scripture that God has called the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the last days to proclaim the three angels' messages of Revelation 14 and the fourth angel of Revelation 18. It's so important that we understand our responsibility to society and to present these wonderful messages in the full, all-encompassing love of Jesus. Not just warnings that are stern and angry, but wonderful explanations about how God can bring us into a happier relationship with Him because we are turning back to the simple, true faith of God. So it is very important for Seventh-day Adventists to express these prophetic understandings in practical ways, just as Jesus did, helping people physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. So church members, pastors, the Spanish Union, all of these entities, Segunto, Health Foods, Publishing House, Centers of Influence, whatever it is, young people, all of them need to, in a practical way, show the ministry of Jesus and truly be the fulfillment of this prophetic movement. Mm -hmm. La Iglesia Adventista insiste en hacer un llamado interno a la necesidad de un reavivamiento y una reforma. ¿Qué nos falta cumplir para lograrlo? Well, revival and reformation can just be kind of a slogan. Oh, yeah, that's a very nice thing, you know, the General Conference is promoting it, and let's, uh, let's just be happy and keep going in the way we're going. No. Revival and Reformation is something that the Bible has called us to, that the spirit of prophecy has called us to, to humble ourselves, to realize that the next great event 
will be the falling of the latter reign of the Holy Spirit, which is predicted in Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2, telling us that something extraordinary will happen. And that is the reason for revival and reformation, so that personally we are in connection with God through Bible study, through prayer, and through sharing with others. The Holy Spirit can then prepare us for the wonderful latter reign of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that it is coming very soon, and it will do dynamic things all over the world and right here in Spain. En tiempos de Daniel, su fidelidad a Dios, servicio y temperancia, así como la de sus compañeros, jugaron un importante papel en la sociedad de su tiempo. ¿De qué modo cada iglesia y cada cristiano debería ser un referente de fidelidad a Dios, de temperancia y de servicio en la sociedad actual? People are watching Seventh Day Adventists. Mm -hmm. They notice why you're different. They notice something is a little bit out of the ordinary the way you react with people, the happiness on your face, the, the help that you give to them as neighbors, the way you eat and what you drink. Mm -hmm. All of these things people watch and then they ask, why? What is the reason for this? Do you think that by doing this you will earn special favor in heaven and you can work your way to heaven by your own works? No, it's a result of our relationship with the Lord the justifying robe of righteousness that Jesus gives us. And then, when Jesus begins to work in the life, sanctification starts taking place. We become more and more like Jesus. So, God's natural laws, His moral laws, all of these are meant to help us to become more like Jesus, created in God's image. And ultimately, when Jesus comes, we will be made completely new and be forever young. Mm -hmm. But until that time, God asks us to live healthfully and to share with other people the power that God can have in the life to change us from being mean-spirited people to being happy, sweet people, from being selfish people to being generous people, from being individuals who are self-centered to being people who just love the community. So our faithfulness to Jesus will result in our wonderful explanation to others through our lives and our witness that Jesus is truly in control of the heart. In Juan 10, verse 10, it says that Satan wants to destroy and Jesus gives life. ¿Cómo deberíamos interpretar este versículo con respecto a la Iglesia Mundial en este momento histórico? We see all around us evidence now that what was explained in Matthew 24 is happening in many places around the world. Famines, wars, uh, earthquakes, difficulties. All of these are signs that the coming of Jesus is very soon. Uh, Jesus viene pronto. Amen. It's something that should excite all Seventh-day Adventists. And as we understand that, we know that the devil is trying to destroy God's people, to destroy the very biblical message that we're to give, to announce to people that we need to turn back to the true worship of God, the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, to help people understand that they need to prepare for the Lord's coming. And as we do this, we know that the devil will try in every way to destabilize the church and also to bring chaos in the world. As we look around us, we see that many things are happening, that the devil is trying to destabilize things. But God is in control, and as we place ourselves in his hands, he will see his church through to victory. Amen. Vivimos en los últimos tiempos. ¿Cómo de necesarias cree que son en estos momentos las productoras audiovisuales en lo relativo al evangelismo? We live in a very media-oriented society now. Everyone has, just about everyone, a, a telephone, iPhone, whatever it is. People are connected to social media. It is so vital that the Seventh-day Adventist Church, like you're doing, 
be involved in interactive media outreach through internet, through television, through radio, through every type of social media that can attract the attention of people to the truth. And I just want to wish God's special blessing on uh, Hope Media here in the Spanish Union. I know you are touching hearts for Jesus. Thank you very much.